Greetings to one and all. I, Rashmi Gupta, will today like to bring before the House the constitutional values in our daily lives and its impact and relevance for the observation of the Constitution Day. So after a long drawn process of discussion and debates, our constituent assembly of eminent figures had drafted a legal document known as our Constitution on 26th of November 1949. This day is since then celebrated as the Constitution Day. Today, as I speak, our topic is related to our daily lives. So we will understand how we can introspect into reality how our lives actually attaches to our Constitution. How we speak, see, react, demand, associate, or at maximum level, live our lives is highly related to the ideals which it holds high. Today, we will look into the ideals of justice, liberty, and equality. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am Disha, and today I am going to talk about how, uh, how our constitution enforces the principle of equality in our society. A lone beggar by the roadside, with no kin or family, has but one friend, the Indian constitution. That constitution which was forged in the boiling bloods of our freedom fighters to provide equality for all. What the Bible, Quran and Gita are to the religions, our constitution is to the spirit of equality. Our constitution empowers us with an equality that shatters all the narrow barriers of skin tone, caste and the God that we follow. If it weren't for the Indian constitution, India wouldn't have been a country where after a game of chess, the king and the pawn go into the same box always. Happy constitution day everyone. Thank you. and today I am going to speak about how equality is important for the constitution of India. Equality is not in regarding different things similarly. It is about regarding different things differently, said a wise man once. And today if you are enjoying a safe job and nurturing a happy family, it is because the Constitution cradles you in its framework. A framework that protects you without an ounce of regard for your caste, color, creed, gender and race. In fact, it is so concrete that an entire vial of evil cannot plummet through to regrow the untouchability of the, that the Constitution has weeded out itself. So, on this Constitution Day, let us celebrate the silent harbinger of equality and peace. Thank you. Greetings everyone, this is Pratham Chauhan here, signing into your lives for some moments. Justice, do you know about justice? Well, justice is the ideal that has been inscribed in the preamble of our Constitution. This liberal democracy that has been reigning since 1947 has its first word justice. Well, you have heard about it in the pop culture since the dawn of ages. But do you know what justice is? Well, it's a safety net which is provided to us against exploitation. For example, if we take reservation policy for the SC, STs or OBCs or everyone who has been exploited economically, politically or socially. Or PSUs or MSPs which has been provided to BPL people against economic recessions or booms. Justice is not just an essence, it's an ideal which we upheld as a proud Indian. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Swastika and I'm here to tell you about a value mentioned in, our, in the preamble of our constitution. The people of the country might think that the constitution being an age-old document is no longer prevalent or significant in our lives. But there is, that is where we go wrong. The constitution forms the backbone of our democracy and is undeniably significant even in our daily lives. Uh, now, how is it significant? The constitution protects the right to a very basic necessity of ours, 
That is personal liberty. It allows us to demand for the freedom of speech and expression to settle in any part of the country we want, to carry on with any business of our choice, to practice any religion we want, and also to form social associations as long as we do not violate the personal liberties of anyone else. Thank you. Good afternoon, this is Koshani and I have just started uh, with what my friend said. These rights are legally sanctified and if prevented or violated can be punishable by law. Every individual can move to the court if they feel that their rights are violated. This can be ensured by uh, issuing writs such as habeas corpus, uh, co warrant etc. Every in every step, be it professional or personal, uh, the constitution plays a very crucial role in shaping our lives. The freedom which it grants us uh, comes along with certain positive restraints uh, which provides us with a very fertile environment uh, which uh, helps in the development and growth of every individual which automatically makes the institution progressive. The constitution thus plays a very important role in safeguarding our rights and hence can be uh, considered a heart and soul of a liberal democracy. Thank you and have a very good day.